The Small Business Show, episode 144 for Wednesday, November 8th, 2017. Yo, greetings, folks, and welcome to The Small Business Show here at businessshow.co, the show by, for, and about small business owners. Sponsors for this episode include Storyblocks, where at storyblocks.com slash SBS, you get a special deal. All three of their services, images, video, and audio for one price. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good. That good. flowed pretty good with you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the new thing. Out. That's right. Happy to have him. Happy to have him here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Very yeah. Very cool. Yeah, as we talked about in the last episode. As and, we uh, talked about. That's right. The cat's out of the bag now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you missed that one, go back and listen. And we talked about sponsorship and podcasts and uh, business, you know, podcast business in general. So Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. So today we're talking about, uh, I said, it's one of my least favorite things to do. And probably all small business owners, I would imagine, feel this way. And it's, it's letting people go one yeah. way or another. Uh, either, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, downsizing uh, or changes, you know, changes in your business that require you to lay off people, whether it's, you know, uh, a certain business channel that you, that's changing that you don't need folks anymore, or if you as well, just letting people go in general because their performance or lack of their lack thereof, yep. um, that kind of stuff. And, you know, I always make the comment, you know, it's just not like a big business where you can just call HR and say, oh, you know, let, you know, X number of people go late, t- late t- 5% off of, the, you know, the staff or, you know, employee number, whatever needs to go. You have to really sit down and you have to do it first yeah. and foremost, usually even when you're, when your managers or your, you know, your supervisors do it you, you, as a small business owner, I think you need to be it there. comes back to you. Yeah. 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 You, you have to, you have to be in there cause it's probably coming down from you anyway. Yeah. Um, and it's miserable. I, I, uh, it's, but it's also like sometimes like a festering wound that you finally get cut off <laughs> and then you're so happy, like, oh, it's so much better now, it, right? It's true. No, I, I yeah. always I, I always feel horrible after I've let someone go, and I al- almost always feel relief yes. after I've let someone go. And, yep. and, and I've had to do it, so I guess we'll do this perhaps slightly in reverse. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about the different ways of doing it in a minute, but just in, in, in a general sense, you know, that that feeling of relief always tells me you did – you did the right thing that's as correct. difficult as that was. Right. Because that's, that, that's the key. Like you're, you're doing this for your business either because you don't have the money for this person or they're the wrong fit culturally or skill wise. Right. I mean, there can be a million reasons and we'll, and we'll get to those, but, but yeah, there's that, um, that, that feeling it's of tough. relief. Yeah. 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 And, and, I and hate I, it. I, I do too. Yeah. I do too. But, but like I said, you often feel better after it's done. And, but I, I always would remind, you know, my, uh, supervisors and managers, I said, you know, when we have to let somebody go, it's just as much or more so a failure on our part. And, and, and I'll explain what I mean by that. You're totally right. Uh, Yeah. Because either a, we didn't hire the right person. B, uh, we haven't kind of given them what they need to succeed or, you know, and, and yes, there's that third thing where somebody's just a complete flake or whatever. But again, it comes back to, well, maybe we should, you know, we shouldn't hire that person. Yeah. And, and you know, we didn't do enough due diligence or, or whatever. And uh, I think that's an important thing to understand is it, it, it is a failure so that you take it serious and you use it to be introspective about what we uh, as managers could have done differently Yep. Uh, to, to avoid this in the future, because it's such a miserable process for everybody. Um, and it can be destructive to your staff and your culture, uh, and, and the performance of your other people. Yep. Right. Yep. In, 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 and both sides, one, if somebody, you know, they see someone slacking off and not doing their work, but nothing happens. Yeah, that or, sends the wrong message. That sends the wrong message. Or if you're very flippant about, you know, letting people go, you know, willy nilly, 
that also sends the wrong yeah. message, right? I, I that, never, you know, I, I get friendly with my employees, uh, more so with some than others, I, just because people are different. Yes. Uh, but I have made it a rule that I never, ever, no matter how friendly I am with someone, never joke about letting them go or firing them or anything oh, like yeah, that. No way. And yeah. it, and it, I, I broke that rule. Uh, I, it was, it wasn't that long ago, maybe a month and a half ago. It was a guy who he works for me. Um, he's actually the one that put together the deal for the sponsorship that we're doing in this nice. episode. <laughs> yep. Uh, he and I have played in bands together. In fact, he hired me in, in one of his bands. Uh, oh. That's how we met. Uh, yeah. So it's always been sort of a business relationship, but you know, we, we've spent a lot of time together uh, on, on stage and off. And, uh, and so we're very comfortable with each other. S very, very comfortable. And, uh, and I, I just made the joke about, you know, something about, Oh, well, you, you know, you'll find that it, it'll be written in the corner <laughs> of your pink slip or something like that. Yeah. And, and he laughed, he, he completely took it exactly as it was intended. And I stopped and I said, I'm sorry. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You right, know, right. and and he said, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "No, I like I I, I that's a rule of mine. I shouldn't do it." He's it's like, good. "No, I get it." And and he has actually a small business of his, of his own in addition to the band. He's got uh, a t-shirt company and stuff that he, he, he like a, a team wear company and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And and he's like, "No, I get it. I, I and I appreciate you saying that." He's like, I, "If you hadn't said anything, I don't think it ever would have, you know, even come back to my mind." He's like, "But I'm glad you said uh, it." Just Yeah, it know, is good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you just have to. I don't know. Yeah, I, it, you have to be aware. It's a you're in a different position now, yes. and uh, you have to. You cannot take it lightly. The fact that you're, uh, uh, in many ways, you, I mean, you're really. Uh, I was just talking to a, a, a guy the other night who, who's a dentist, and he was. We were talking about people at staff that stays up for a long time and this kind of thing. And yeah. I, I made the comment. And I said, "Well, you know, they. The thing is, as a business owner, you're really a steward of your employees as well." Yes. It, you know, you are, you're there to help them succeed and in their lives. And, you know, and I think getting connected is really important. I always say, you know, you can be friendly, but you cannot be friends. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I think it's an important distinction because they will never think of you as just a friend or whatever, no. as long as you're signing a no, paycheck. They, they can't. It's it impossible. Work. Right. Yes. Right. That's right. Right. Those, so, so those little flippant comments, like you say, that really, Especially in that case where it's like, oh, this is so, you know, kind of so innocuous. casual. Yeah. So casual. But y you you cannot underscore how important they that he could have gone back and thought about that. Yes. You know, he could have could have been up now, till, till five in the morning the you next still day. Still know. Yep. Yeah. Like, totally freaked and, out about it. Yep. And it's one thing I things that I, one thing I've learned over the years is the way you as a business owner look at things is quite often completely different than it is taken by your employees. So that's true. Yeah. I mean, things that you're like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to give them all this freedom or I'm going to do this. It could scares the crap scare out of them. Scare the heck out of them, yeah. you know, and, and t be taken completely the wrong way. And I've often uh, had that experience where I've just been shocked, right? It's like, wow, I meant this to be real positive and look at, look how uh, it's gotten turned around yeah. as this big negative, you know, thing. So, uh, that can definitely happen when you're talking about those things. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, need yeah. to, you just need to, you know, you can't. I know that no matter how much I obsess over pretty much everything, because it's just kind of who I am, there's no way that I can put myself truly in the head of my employees and and understand how anything is going to be received. And yeah. so, That's right. you know, I have to I have to come at it from all angles and I don't. I mean, I fail on that all the time. It's but, hard. Yeah. But just, yeah. you know, being mindful of the yeah, fact that you're yeah, going to fail. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. So so letting people go. I mean, I, I take it there's kind of two different um, you know, one is there's a performance issue that you haven't been able to been able to correct yes. or guide that person. And, and let, let's focus on that for a minute. Well, I, I was going to say, let's identify both of them. Okay. Then, then it, we're going to talk about, uh, each our one. sponsor for the, for the day. And then we'll talk about Perfect. each one. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. you know, one, it's a lack of performance. Uh, and then two is it, there's something going on where you just don't need those, uh, person services anymore. That's right? correct. Yes. Those, those kind of two things it's I would categorize. Things. Yeah. You're, broad, you're, but. you're firing them or laying them off. It's, yeah, it's, and it. these are broad categories and, and, you know, certainly uh, there's a lot of blurred lines between them. Yes, there is. But 
that's in in terms of how we'll talk about it here today. It's cool. it's you're firing people, you're laying them off. You got it. All right. Our first sponsor for this show ever and our sponsor <laughs> for today is Storyblocks. We're at storyblocks.com. That's S-T-O-R-Y-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash S-B-S. You can go and sign up for their triple bundle, which gets you access to a library of 400,000 images, 150,000 videos, 100,000 audio clips. All of this stuff is royalty free. What that means is you can take all of these things, the images, the video, the audio, and use it for personal or commercial projects, right? So we put yep. images into every episode that we do here. Well, Storyblocks is the one that we've been using for the last couple of weeks to put these images in, right? We go, we search, we find an image there that works for us. We, we manipulate it. We put maybe, you know, maybe we'll put the show stuff on it. Maybe we won't. But that's where we go and get this stuff from. And here's the deal. 149 bucks for a full year of unlimited access to all three of those libraries. That's a, big, that's a smoking deal. It's a, I, I've never yeah. seen, I, I know I'm sounding excited and you might think it's, it's affected <laughs> well, we or something. We use this stuff. We, we use yeah. these services. If, if you have a small business, you're used, I mean, I, I'm always looking for imagery, graphics, uh, you know, video, that kind of stuff. And for, you know, 149 bucks, it, it, it's a, a great I, deal to get all three. I have used a different service in the past and I thought I was getting a deal at literally 10 times this price. That's so insane. it's insane. 149 bucks gets you all three, the triple bundle images, video and audio royalty free. And they're adding new content regularly. So go visit storyblocks.com slash SBS SBS. Why small business show. See how we did that storyblocks S T O R Y B L O C K S dot com slash SBS. You get all the stock images, video and audio you can imagine for just 149 bucks. Our thanks to storyblocks for sponsoring this episode. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, coming down in an upcoming episode, I'll share your story how I got just hammered by not using, uh, you know, a, a royalty free image in one of my businesses. And it snuck up on me and cost me a tremendous amount of money uh, years later. Awesome. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll chat about that. We'll chat about that. There you go. Perfect. Cool. That's All good. right. So, so back, let's... back to the, yeah, the two different types of, of, of firing. Or, yeah. You know, let, letting let's people go start with, right? let's start with layoffs. Yeah. Um, you know, it. I've had to do this. Um, Me too. Thankfully, not recently, but it doesn't mean that I won't have to do it soon, right? And and, and I again, there's me. You know, I, we have an audience of small business owners here. I know sometimes my employees listen, so you know, t take this with the, the grain that I am talking to an audience of small business owners. Yes. Yep. Uh, that's more me knocking on wood, hoping that I don't have to, and and certainly not plans. But but. Uh, it, it, a few years ago at Mac Observer, there had been kind of some significant changes to the industry. And we were at the point where we weren't like up against the wall yet, cash flow wise, but I could see it coming if we were burning at the rate that we were burning and earning at the rate that we were earning. And so it was like, OK, you know, we have to change things a little bit here. And that meant changing the pay structure uh for a lot of our freelancers, but also, you know, kind of not having as many full-time people as we had and, and just sort of tweaking things around. And it was like, you know, I, I hemmed and hawed about it. I went back and forth through all the things that uh, we could do. Uh, and obviously talked about it with Brian, who's my you know partner there. He's our uh -huh. chief editor. And we came up with it. And, and the one thing that, we knew early on in the process of, of kind of evaluating this was we can only do this once. Like we uh, can't. Uh, yeah. That, right, that, that, that's, that's a good point. We can't do it. And then three months later, do the rest of it. You know, it, like it, you can't delude yourself into thinking, ah, oh, if we just like maybe slow it, but don't quite turn yeah. it around. Yeah, well, it'll be great. You know, we'll be fine. No, but that's easy to do because, yeah, uh, you know, as optimistic and uh, kind of create your own reality, small business owners, you are always thinking things are going to get better. Right. Yes. And, and certainly speaking in my own experience uh, and you're like, OK, 
if we cut here, uh, you know, and keep our level at this, we should be okay. It should be okay. Yeah, it should <laughs> be okay. But yeah. if you think that it's going to be a longer, you know, uh, trough that you're going to be into, so to speak. Yep. You, you're right. You do need to uh, really bite the bullet and get it all done because it. The, the thing that's different about layoffs versus firing a particular person is I think the layoffs rumble through your organization uh, it, it much more powerful. Well, that's exactly a, a way, it. Right. Yep. Where people start to think, oh, am I next? Um, you know, what's going on? Yep. Are, are, is the business going to make it? Uh, you know, and, and what you don't want is. You don't want a mass exodus of people. No, um, if you're going to if you're going to you know. lay off whatever percentage, it doesn't matter if you're going to lay off, yes. let's say, 20, 30 percent of your staff, something, you know, not insignificant at yeah. all. You really like you've chosen and handpicked who's going to go and who's going to stay. But you don't really get to pick who's going to stay. You only right. get to pick who's going to go. And then it's free will, whether the rest of those people stay short term or long term. Yeah. So if you are letting people go, you, you should look at that and say, OK, what happens then if the remaining, you know, or some or this particular person? I mean, if there are key individuals in your organization, you really need to they need to be on board with what's going on. Yes. And you need to get them into the discussion and either beforehand, like certainly uh, your department heads or supervisors, yeah. managers, they need to be uh, in, involved in this. And yeah. so that they can give you feedback. It may be like, oh, hey, I really need to keep, I want to keep these people. Yep. Um, this guy, you know, this person, uh, you know, yeah, we could let go. Um, but you don't want to surprise them uh, to where, you know, they're not feeling secure. And then all of a sudden they decide to take another opportunity. And then you're really uh, now in trouble because you you're shorthanded and you've lost some of your quality. Yeah. Folks. Yeah. You're already shorthanded. I mean, you've just yep. cut. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yep. we made sure when we did it that not only were we confident, truly confident, not deluding ourselves, no optimism. It was like, OK, here's the numbers. Here's what our outflows will be after we do this. We are not just cash flow neutral at that point. We are yeah. cash flow positive. Like we're excited about yep. having extra money in the budget. Now, you know, I know that the people we let go would not share that excitement. There's no, just no not. way, right? Yeah, but and, right. and so you ha kind of have to reconcile the fact that you're going to feel things differently than the people you've let go. And you, and yet you're still going to feel for them. Uh, it, you know, sure. at least I would. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. So, and, and, and then once we did it, we got the staff together and we yeah. had a conversation where it was like, Hey, look, we're really excited. And, and I think, you know, people know you, the people that work for you know you at some level. And and my hope is, and, and based on the fact that none of them left then or even since then, uh, they believed us. And also we haven't done it again. Yeah, <laughs> you that's, know, a big, it's been that's a big years. deal. Yep. Right. Yep. It was not only did we communicate that we believed it, we we, uh, you know, we committed to that. And and the proofs in the pudding and and yeah. and obviously it it worked out so yeah yeah and I think that it your your point about meeting with everyone after is is really important uh, it, whenever there's a time it, well when something like this happens it's not a time for closed doors no uh, you need to be out and about you need to be you know uh, open and transparent you need to be you know hey if you want to come and talk to me about what has happened. Please do. Uh, it really needs to be transparent, and uh, it'll it'll add a, a you know a lot of authenticity to it. If that's you what are it, you need is direct. authenticity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and you just have to open yourself up and be ready to to discuss. When you know, hopefully you've had some pre discussions with you know your key players, and uh, they're helping to kind of soften the blow as well. But you know what I found, and uh, you know, my wife Renee would always tell me this. You know, hey, they know what's going on already. Yes. They, they, they see it. Right. And I, I would be, you know, I always, oh yeah, you know, I don't want to, I, I mean, I don't want to let anybody go. Right. I would, right. I would always rather pay them than pay me. You know, yep. I'm just like, no, we got to keep these people going. Uh, and, but sure enough, that would always happen is like, oh yeah, we, you know, the people that stayed, well, we saw, you know, weren't as busy or whatever, you know? Um, so they're, they're aware of it. It's just the way you handle it. It's an opportunity to build respect with them yep. or to, or to destroy it. Yep. So go, you know, try to do the right thing. So I, before we jump to uh, firing, I, I want to ask you a question because I, I know I've done this uh, and I'm, I can only imagine you have too. Uh, 
how long will you? So I'm not going to ask it as a yes or no question. I'm going to assume the answer is yes. Of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> how long will you go not taking a paycheck uh, before you make other changes like layoffs to your biz- to to your business? How do, how do you gauge that? And I, I realize it's sort of different yeah. for, for every scenario. Oh, well, yeah, I think it depends on. I, well, to answer your question directly, I, I, I've done it in certain cases for about a year. OK. Oh, and yeah, OK, because I felt strongly that, OK, uh, this is what the business needs to make it through this rough patch. Yep. And uh, it, I, I also but I believe it's influenced by how much the business has rewarded you in the past. Totally. You may not have the 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 luxury of saying, oh, I, I'm not going to do this for a year. You know, yeah. I'm not going to not going to take it. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I think that if you do it and then you don't see in that improvement, well, then it's kind of futile, futile, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. You've you, just you, you've, you've given your money to someone else. Correct. In and retrospect. I, yes, that's yes. right. And you really and I, I have absolutely uh, somebody that's done this where I have kind of put off the inevitable. Yes. By oh, taking totally. the sacrifice myself yep. when I really shouldn't have. And I should have just, you know, stood up and said, you know what? We just have to do it. If, if, if this particular company is going to survive, we, we've got to make these changes. Yep. Um, so I, I'm not sure that uh, that is my answer and it's truth, but yeah. I don't know that it was the right thing to do. I'm with but you, I, but I did it. I've done yeah. it too. And, yep. um, you know, in retrospect, there had, there have been, there haven't been that many occasions where I've done it, but there've been yeah. an, enough where it's, it's been a varied outcome. That's right. Sometimes and, and I, it's like, yep. I did yeah, it and it worked yes. yeah. and oh yeah, great. And I was able to keep everybody. And now I have a, you know, a trained staff instead yeah. of new people. And, and, and I feel like that was the right thing and, and it worked out. And I've also done it where, you know, you sacrifice for whatever, a few months or, or whatever it is. And then you realize, yeah. well, why did I give that person my money? I and, and it's your that, choice. Yeah, like I never blame the, the, no, the employee. You can't, they possibly. don't know or they no. don't, they're not in charge. It's of not it, right? their choice. Yeah. And if you do it, I think you have to be careful about how you, if you tell them, Oh yeah, it's really delicate, you know, so you can certainly use that in a conversation of, Hey, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to let a few people go. Uh, this is that, I mean, it all depends. Yes. You, can, I mean, right, you driving, can say, and I haven't yeah. been taking a check for X months, but I don't think you right. can say it if you're driving a new Porsche. Nope. And I don't think you, I mean, you know, there's just nuances to it. Yep. Just remember, like I said earlier, they're going to take it different than you think, uh, than, than you are internalizing it. Of course. You know, they're, they're going to be like, well, you know, you've taken so much money before. Da, 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 da. I mean, there's just so many different ways. Yep. So be careful how you use it information. Yeah. The, the, You're poor, not the be, poor me approach nope, is, is it, rarely it work. going to play well, even nope. if it's what you believe. That's a very good point. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. You it can't do work. that. You just no don't like, you don't, you, you cash that card in when you opened a business. Yeah. You don't you're, get to say, poor that's me. not, that, that's yep. not it. And the other thing I think what it is done f- over the years for me is it's really reinforced the concept of the revenue stack, which we've been talking about yes. here. Because if you have revenue coming in from other business ventures or other investments, you have the, the maybe a little bit easier time saying, you know what? This company's doing really well. This one needs, uh, you know, a band aid. Yeah. I'm not going to take anything from this for yep. three months, yep. or I'm going to reinvest it in in this. the The other aspect of it, not to to, you know, focus too long on it, but you should talk to your accountant because it may be better to draw the paycheck and loan it back to the company. In that's and, true. Yeah, so there's a number of t- of tax uh, implications in that. So you should talk to your accountant. But uh, especially down the road, let's say you never get an opportunity to get that back. Well, you can pay yourself interest on that money, yes. right? which is taxed at a much lower rate as well. When you, if let's say someone comes along and wants to buy your company someday, well, that loan is on the books yep. and you can then negotiate, okay, well, this is the sale price and everything, but you know, we, this is some money we've loaned to the company. I, I want to get back that. And, and then finally, if you're ever dealing with a, a partnership or an LLC, there, there's something called basis. And, and basis is a very important thing to learn about, especially as a new business owner, because if you don't have basis 
for your investment in the business. Like if someone comes in and you're using sweat equity and someone else comes in and puts $100,000 in your company, yes. well, they've got basis, but yes. you don't. So you're very limited on the tax benefits and write-offs and all kinds of other stuff that you can do if you don't have basis. So if you loan that money back to the company on the books and the, and the company uses that cash, you're building up your your account, your basis. And yep. uh, it, it's really important. And we'll, we'll put a, a link in, in the show notes about basis. And I, it, it's something that drove me crazy when I first started, uh, you know, my these various companies. And I was like, what are you talking about? I don't qualify for this, <laughs> you know? And, and But it's, you know, I'm not an accounting guy, uh, right. but it, it's an important thing to understand. So that loaning that back can help you out if yep. you're low, low on your basis. Yep. So. yep. so the second part is when you have to fire somebody, right? Yep. Which is equally miserable, but may not have, may actually be taken very positively by the rest of your, uh, your staff. Yeah. Right? Well, it depends on why you're firing them. Yes. Right. It, 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 but, um, if, you know, if someone is awful, uh, an awful person to be around yes. and you can, and, and you don't wait too long to fire them, then it can play very well for you. But That's right. if you you know <laughs> if you long. if you hung on to him for too long, then the staff could be like, well, yeah, thanks for getting rid of him, but or you know why yeah. why what took you so long? Like That's right. It can shake their confidence in you too. Yeah, yeah, it can. And and what you know, I would answer that question if if they if no one had brought it to your attention. Yes, I think the answer is, hey, you know. When this kind of thing happens, you, you if you're seeing please these things, me. Yeah. please come in and tell me so we can then address it sooner. Yep. Um, but if they do that and you don't react, well, you know that that's a that's an issue. That's on you. Um, yeah. And and I've had it. You know, the the trouble is sometimes you you have to fire people for reasons that are not, you know, like I I had a guy that never could transition from, you know, working on electronics to then working on microelectronics. Right. Okay. The transition from I mean. You know, we were in the server business. As your business, business evolves, yeah. That as your business evolves, servers, monitors, printers. This guy was awesome. But as we transitioned into laptops, it was a little tougher for him. And then when we made the transition from tablets and to, to mobile, boy, he just couldn't do it. And and I, you know, f it was tough because I, 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 if he couldn't do the work, and that was that was the business, right? You know, and so we kind of had to we eased him out, if you will. I said, look, anytime when as if we have this work. You're the guy, you know, you're the guy. But as that work disappears, if, if, if you can't do it, then what, what do I do? And he, you know, and he knew it. So you have to let somebody go like that. That's tough. Versus, you know, I had a guy that got in a fist fight right in the middle of a tech lab, you know, and, and I, I had to let his, his ass go the next day. Yeah, right? Oh yeah. Right away. You know, so, and if you don't respond correctly to a, a, a big issue like that, or if, if you have any kind of harassment issues, man, you really set, you can set yourself up, uh, not only respect and this, but legally, you know, oh, yeah. there are, You're you on the really hook. have to be careful, man, yeah. of, of how you do it. So you want to have some HR advice. And and if you're small and you don't have an HR department, there's all kinds of third parties that you can contract with that will effectively be your HR department. Uh, and, and if you just Google, you know, outsourcing HR, there, there's some, you can get some good support. So, you know, Hey, I'm in the right, I'm going to fire this person and I'm doing it legally. Yeah, that, that's really important. Cause that's that's the hardest part. I mean, yeah. and it's true of layoffs, too. Like, it, it, yeah, you know, uh, certain ways you have to do it. You've got to yep. you've got to do it the right way. But uh, with firing. Yeah, it gets difficult. And I've had issues in the past where, you know, it, we pay our sales reps on commission. Yeah. And there's a real question about what constitutes the earning of that commission oh, if you're not sure. clear about it. Right. Because yeah. you could have somebody that, you know, let's say they, they sell a deal that's worth, uh, you know, 12 months worth of a deal. Right? Yes. You fire them three months in. So there's nine months of this deal is yeah. still going to happen. And those checks aren't going to come in until after each of those nine months, let's just say, right. You yeah, know, that's right. So now you've let this person go, you fired them, whatever it is, they are no longer under your employee. Do they have a claim to that commission. That's and, a good question. And it is a good question. If it is truly a sales commission and nothing more, then yeah. I, I mean, they it seems like they might, right? I uh, guess it depends on on the their employment uh agreement, if you yeah. will. If you if it, you spell it out up you, front. It, yeah, and I never used yeah. to, right? Yeah. But yeah. but you know, it we always talk about it here. 
I always say, look, you know, I don't pay a commission for sales. I pay a commission for maintaining that contract. Yeah, because that's right. that's, that's actually what's happening. Like, you know, the, 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 those remaining nine months, somebody needs to work that contract. Otherwise yeah, the we're relationship not, manage it. Yes. You, otherwise yeah. we're going to, we're going to be in default on that. So yeah, if, right. if you're not here and I get somebody, that it might be my fault, you're not here. Right. But, well, but, but, yeah. but you're not here. Someone has to do that, that Correct. work. You didn't do that work. So therefore you can't get paid for it, that but it good. has to be a very clear thing. And yep. it's better like it. if everybody truly understands it as opposed to kind of understands it and then tries to collect anyway, because yes. that can get messy for everybody. That's right. Yeah. So I, I have a question for you. Yeah. Are, do you, in the case of laying people off or firing people, um, are do you believe in doing an exit interview and getting it, their feedback and, and that kind of thing? You know, it's I, I like the idea of an exit interview. I really yeah. do. Uh, but. I'm not convinced they are valuable yeah. when, when you are the one choosing to let someone go. Now I've had people I think that's correct. choose to quit, you know, or, and move on or whatever. And in those cases, I definitely like to get the exit interview. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, well, but if I, their, their attitude is different, right? They're coming totally, from a different space. Yeah. yeah they they right. feel, I mean, regardless of, of what reality is, it doesn't matter. Their perception is they are in control of this situation. I mean, they're, they're the ones that chose to leave. Yeah. So it, that exit interview has them in a position of perceived power and, and also nothing to lose. Right. Yeah. So I, th- I think they're more uh, they're in a they're position to be a little more honest. Yeah, that's right. Whereas they're not angry or disappointed or, or you know. hoping to get their job back. Ah, that's a good take. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good take. on. Right. If so you let them go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I got to let you go. And especially if it's a, like a layoff or something where yeah. I got to hate to do this, you know, and you got to keep like those kind of comments out of it because they hate it more than you. Y- you know yeah. what I mean? No, yeah. You can't make it personal at all. No, no way. No, no, they, no. You just have to go. You know what? Um, you know, you can. And, and I don't think you can apologize. Ah, it's hard. It's hard. I have apologized because I don't I know have, how oh, not yeah. to. I have to, you know, yep. it's like, look, I hate to do it. But I always do say like, to your point, it's like, you know what? It things turn around and this thing, we'd love to have you back, you yeah. know, da, 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 keep in touch. And we've done it. So, I mean, yep. we have absolutely done it where we've ha- asked somebody to come back and they've been very happy to come back. Sure. So, um, yeah. But that's the thing happen. where you're not going to that exit interview. It, I don't know. It like maybe three months later. I, and yeah. I have, I've run into people that I've, yeah. you know, cause my industry this is a lot of like any industry, right? You know, you, 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 you can let somebody go, but it doesn't mean you're never going to see them again. Sure. And, and I run into somebody three or six months later and, and we wind up having a beer and they're, you know, they've moved on to something else. They're not worried where their rent check's going to come from or anything like that. And, yeah. and then, you know, and then you can have kind of an honest conversation and if, but you have to be a, a willing participant uh, in that conversation. Like, do you yeah. really want to hear what they have to say? Um, you know, and maybe, maybe you don't like there we've talked about how sometimes that optimism is a good thing and, and, you know, you just kind of want to keep trucking. So I don't know. It depends. Yeah. It depends on the yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. It does. It does. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, uh, a, a big believer in them just because I don't think you get accurate information. Um, uh, you have to parse but, it. Yeah. Yeah. You do have to kind of parse it, but, yeah. uh, it's tough. It, it's, I think as a small business owner, it's definitely one of the worst things to do, but it's something that is critically important that you do, uh, and, and that you handle in a, in a respectful manner and you don't wait too long. That's and the key and, is don't you know, wait too long. And yeah. So that, yeah. I don't, I still don't know the answer to like, how do I know when? No, it's, you don't. Yeah. I think it's, very challenging. And I've actually let, had to let uh, people go at, at one of my companies. And I have felt like I, I've literally, I, I still feel it. it's like, wow, I've just let the heart and soul of this business go. Yep. And man, it hurts. It's tough. And, you know, but again, it, it turned out to be, you know what? It was the heart and soul of the business as it used to be. Correct. But that it needed to evolve to be something different. Yep. And, and, and I think what happens is we all get comfortable. Well, that's especially it. Especially with the people around you and how things work. And then you're like, oh man, I, you know, I got to do this. And it's just, I mean, and I've had, you know, you're sitting there and people that tears come into their eyes and you're thinking, oh man, this is just rotten. Uh, but it's one of the, you know, not you can't 
put too fine a point on it how it, it just takes time and you you, you got to get some experience under yeah. your belt the, the the last thing i'll leave you with is don't ever do it by yourself always have someone in the room with you when you do it because you don't want to get into a he said he said or you know yeah. he said she said any any of that thing you want to have someone else that can sit there and say oh i was there i witnessed the way they did this here's the thing right yeah and uh, especially if you're firing someone that it's volatile, um, you definitely need to have somebody there. And if you're a, a sole proprietor with only one employee, have your bookkeeper, accountant, lawyer, ba- whoever one of your advisors is, have them come sit with you or something, because uh, you definitely want to have some backup backup support. Huh? I never thought about that. I, I've always done it. I'm trying to no. think, oh, I've, I've, uh, with the computer nerds business, I, I fired yeah. people to their face because we saw each other. Yeah. We all worked out of the sure. same office, but with, uh, with backbeat, uh, actually, uh, and when, with, well, with backbeat, there was one person I let go, um, in person, yeah. but generally it's it, with both backbeat and TMO because we're, you know, virtual yeah, companies. That's a, that's- it's, it it's on the phone, but yeah. I, what I never thought to do, and you got to check with the laws in your state yes. and all this is to record that conversation. Record it or have somebody sit in on the call with you. Yeah. Cause you just, you, yeah. you have to protect yourself. Uh, That's good and, advice. Huh. Yeah. You want to have, and also you, you'll feel a little more confident, you know, you, uh, per, typically yes. you've discussed it with this person right, and you said, right, Oh, you know, right. uh, as well, or, you know, this person may have said, Oh, you know what? You can't say that. Or, yeah. Oh, I would say it this way. So it kind of gives you a chance to run things by whoever your advisor yeah, you get to is. Kinda, and then role play it is or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then you get there on the line with you and, uh, I'm not sure again, legality, whether you need to tell that person that some, someone else is on the phone, right. especially if you're not recording it. I don't know what that is. You need to yeah, check. You gotta check. State. Yeah, exactly. Um, but when you do it in person, for sure, man, you, you got to bring them into your office or the conference room. Um, and you got to have somebody in there with you. Yeah, for sure. That's yep. really smart. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good. I, I normally wow. feel totally excited at the end of the show, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's draining. This was, <laughs> you know? Yeah, this, I, this felt like therapy. And yeah, it, like, but I think it makes you a better business owner if yeah. you feel that empathy for, for people. And hopefully we've helped you out and, uh, you know, come up and talk, share your story and your tips. Uh, in yeah, the we can't do this business. one alone, folks. you no got to chime in on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to hear you at, uh, up in the Facebook support group. Just go to businessshow.co slash Facebook or send your stories to feedback at businessshow.co uh, or your questions or tell us what we did wrong. Any of those things <laughs> Any we want to hear just, from you. Yeah, we yeah. just need to, we need, we need the support group now. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Our great, great big thanks to Storyblocks. We're at storyblocks.com slash SBS. You get that triple bundle deal. Check it out. We'll see you next week. Keep living that charmed life.